Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Gongsun Zan campaign. We pick things up for episode 17 from turn 110 in the summer season of 212. So, as we look at the map, our goal is pretty clear. We're going to clean up Sun Quan's territories in the south. Uh, he still has one over here in Nan, so he's not going to get wiped when we take everything, but we still want everything because right now we're faced with a dilemma. Um, obviously, this is Total War is a big dilemma where you know you see all these armies here attacking us. That's one problem. Uh, but the other problem is we have an issue with Imperial Favor. We are losing it uh, by a ton, uh, despite boosting ourselves by 10 points uh, this turn, actually. So it'll be five more turns until we can do it again. We do have a pretty decent food surplus, and we're not raising taxes, so we do have a pretty decent public order boost. So we are going to get quite a bit of an increase uh, going into next season. But still, uh, as we expand, it's going to hurt. So... There's a couple plans we can do in terms of how to deal with this. I was debating a little bit and I think the best plan that I can think of is to just ignore it and push forth and get our last, I think, 87 points of prestige. Become king so that we become emperor ourselves. And once we're emperor ourselves, who cares about imperial favor? It'll go away. So that's kind of the goal that we're going to step up our uh, expansion tactics and uh, keep pushing uh, so that we can make sure we can get what we want. So we don't want to take any breaks. The army is just going to keep going. They're pretty beaten. I am going to trust... Ooh. Can't really trust those garrisons now, can we? I use this army to crush them, push them back. It's not a very good army. The only unit I want to keep is the cavalry. Can they defend here for us? It would be very difficult. We have two sets of poison volleys. That helps. But that might still cause a lot of issues. Because there's just not... Oh, they have to siege a turn. Okay, that's our advantage. It's walled. So we push. There'll be a delegate here. Or not. They're going to make us fight it. Okay, I guess because we are quite depleted. Uh, give us a second. Because they have to siege us, we don't even have to let this army stay here. But it's actually safer if I put them in. I'll fight this manually, of course. We don't have much in terms of siege weapons. He's really hurt. Uh, but this is a livestock farm. Uh, I think we can handle it. Let's, let's just fight this one, get this one out of the way. Alrighty, it's raining. It doesn't really affect us. They have no cavalry. Uh, we are going to see what we can do. So we have one unit of trebuchet here. I guess we'll offer something for them to charge at. Everyone else will hide off to the side. We just cover fire here. Um, I was thinking we probably could have also just let them, you know, we siege them, let them come out and fight us during the end turn. That might have also worked. But then again, I thought, you know, why waste time when we can just do this? And obviously we're going to sneak up for some uh, nice poison volley across the entire line. They might not charge at us because... They don't actually see us. We're pretty far away. It's a distant thing. No rush. We got all day. It's gonna let us line up for some really nice poison volleys, hopefully. Maybe I need to come in from behind, like right here. And right out over here first. And then from behind. Alright, slow us down a little. Maybe too ambitious to get this close, but I think it will work. They will definitely see us at, at this distance, right? No, they, didn't, they don't see us. Okay, I want to shoot the spear. I don't really care about... There we go, now they see us. I don't really care about the range units. Yeah, throw all your traps on the ground. It's okay, I have barely any health, but those traps aren't going to kill me. Fire away... Traps on the ground. We ran out over here. We go invisible. See you guys in 50 seconds.
All right, they go nice and neat. They move up a little bit. Why? They don't see me. Are they searching for me? I'm flattered, but uh, hello, I'm right here. I lost about a hundred health from the traps they throw on the ground. All good. We're invisible again. Let them line up again. Do we have a roar? No, we don't. Ugh, wish we had a roar. And okay, now they're just searching. Show up here. We can volley that one. Back off. We got one more left in us. That was a good one. All right, charge at the range units because all the spear are dying. Let the bow fly when you have some free time. Okay, so our 2,000 health yen by is just gonna solo everyone it seems. I mean, we got four shots of uh, poison lolly in there. All right, we're gonna reduce their army size a little bit. So they feel the army loss. There we go, and that's our win. We used 100 health uh, to kill everyone here. So yeah, like I said, why wait? We're gonna lose a huge chunk of Imperial favor, yeah. We gotta be mindful if that's gonna cause any satisfaction issues. Not really. Okay, we're fine. Yamai who ranked up to level eight. Congratulations. Tactical withdrawal, hmm. I'm not a big fan of the skill. I don't think he needs it. I don't think he needs it. I think giving his units ignore force penalty is pretty good. Uh, this is also pretty decent, to be honest. Um, stacking this is pretty underrated. We may capture stalkers. Kind of wasted on him. I mean, giving snipe to units only if you're in forest, that's a thing. It's a little bit limiting. I guess melee attack rate is kind of what we want. So let's go here and then get this at level 9. And then when we hit 10, we might go... We might not get this. I don't think we need this. We don't have any, you know, melee infantry ever going to be in our retinue. Back to withdrawal. Yeah, level 10, we might just grab these two. I'm tempted to get charge speed too. Hmm... It's good, it's not bad, just I don't know if we need it. I don't even know, I don't, and maybe we don't need this. If we don't get this, how do we get over here? All right, that's the question. Like if we do eight, nine, 10, that's another way, but then we, then we don't get this. Yeah, I guess I have to get this because I really want Zeal. Zeal's the only one that I kind of still want. All right, so they're good. They can siege it, but then we can, you know, wipe them out if they do siege it next turn. Uh, this is easy taking down the line. Yamao can take this himself, as we have demonstrated. Uh, how many prestige points did we get here? 10 points. So, yeah, uh, these counties will add up. We'll be able to grab this. This will be a free take. Wouldn't cost us anything. This will have to hold. Uh, that's going to be a level 6 commander for us. And then county, county, county. Let's say each county is about 10 points, right? 30 points, 40 points, 50 points. That's going to be worth about 20 points. But yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there before we wipe them out here. So we'll hit king, and that's going to help us a ton. All the armies have moved. Time to spend our hard-earned cash from battling um the big problem is our tax collection building and that's gonna be the big problem going forward nothing we can do about that this means there's a rebellion active no why we're we getting plus 20 then uh hello is this minus 16 not being applied Oh, all right, because we have this building. Plus, wait, 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 wait. They don't neutralize exactly. I guess there's... Right, they don't. What's going on? Like, 
12 from people in power. That's from our, you know, leadership positions. 9 from administrators. That's from his bonus. 5 from reforms. And minus 6 from population. But no effect from this. We have a free... That is not being... Wow, this might be a bug. I mean, I'm going to upgrade it and see what happens. If it's a bug, then we're going to keep this building. Free income. You know, take take your eyes off. It's we're Liu Bei. Yeah, pretty insane. Um, all right, that's going well. That's surprisingly well. Uh, we don't have shaft mining yet. We'll get it eventually, so we're not going to rush that. Really? Can we upgrade it beyond a large town right now? That's the good question. So we're right. We're right here. So I would say that's interior now, right? We're safe. We can start upgrading this to small city. Quite. Quite is always going to come under pressure, uh, but we can't do much about it. Um, they're most likely going to attack this, and not. I mean, we have a defense set up here, so it's fine. State workshops we we're looking for. We need corruption reduction. We need to get that going. Feels like we have additional build because of our population. I think we get a big prestige boost. By big, I mean five points. Five points is actually not small. Five points is actually pretty big. And we can actually get more money from uh, this. So we, let's get that. Yeah, we don't actually have to get all the prestige points from conquest. We can get it from just upgrades. All right, get that going. I'm not happy with this building, but if I do take it out, what do I replace it with? Um, this is a good choice. Income from all sources, minus corruption, minus mustering turns, additional prestige. We have a marketplace, we have an inn, we have private workshop, we have state workshop. Labor building's not really needed here, it's all commerce on this side. So I guess we will go with our unique building here. The key difference is the military aspect. We don't have any of the reforms, we only go here, 24% to all. That's still pretty good, public order is pretty good, mustering turn, extra prestige. Yeah, I'm sold. I'm sold. We don't need this food. Let's get some money. Let's start building other things. Northern Jian. This is not... Oh, this is going to change our prestige by a little bit. Northern Jian still frontier? Eh, technically. I mean, if he spawns an army here, I would need this to defend. But eventually, no. But I guess we can upgrade the Lumberyard first. That's five points of prestige. Upgrading this is usually only four points, so... Let's go there first. Poyang. Poyang's looking good. I could use another building slot though. 4,000 exact. That's all our cash. Sounds good. And four more points of prestige as well. Every little bit counts. All right, so that's a defensive thing. Yeah, we're really low. We might get hit and become the enemy of the Han. But like I said, there will be no Han very soon. Any interesting spy activities? No, I wouldn't call any of them interesting. So let's end turn with very, very little cash on hand and see how things will play out. All right, Xiao Huoyuan, Xiao Huoyuan's army is challenging Lady Liu, uh, and we're gonna loop them and hopefully capture them. We would like to unite the brothers Xiao uh, Yan Bai Hu is doing quite well, and the Xiao Hu, you know, cousins can also join us as well. So we'll loop them. See you guys then. Alrighty, this little fishing port has proven so useful. How many armies have we, you know, trapped here? And we're getting items, getting cash, more items. Not the character we're looking for. We'll take some money. Oh, Sun Chen's trying again. Our dear wife is going to hold them off again. So see you guys at the end here as well. Alrighty. They actually all died around the towers. Or most of them died in that rest routed. And we caught, I believe, is Coronel's son again. I am not interested in him. So for the second time, take the cash. 
All right, it's Zhang Yan's turn again, and uh, we're gonna take them out too. This might be a fight we can just win if I don't call back the reinforcements. Mm, but why risk it against the generals? We can keep everyone alive and still win this, so no point. See you guys at the end. Alrighty, I'm just worried that Giant's gonna launch attack by himself for wave two, but not if we can execute. No, we're not gonna execute him. Um, his son's here. Don't care. No item. Yeah, no one has item. We could execute a few of them just to get them to switch things up. But I'll take the cash. Alrighty. Finally our turn again. And let's see. A couple items from the fighting. Lady Leo got composed. Ooh. I really wish we could hit King soon because I could use him in the court. Getting better and better bonuses. Now can we afford any good spy candidates? Jia Xu? who's working for Dong Min still. Come on over. We weren't the first one to Duke, so he didn't join us then. Is there a chance we can flip anyone else? He rules a little bit too happy. He rules a little bit too happy. Li Jue, maybe. He must be old, but Dashu historically lived into his 80s, so he's he's fine right now. Let's see. No one can be discredited, okay? Because everyone's above fifty. Uh, I guess we could just extract you. Just to play a safe, we'll get another couple more points here. There we go. It's pretty safe. We got him. Good turn around. Pick up another strategist for ourselves. And uh, they're going to be coming at us. Do we dare to take? The trade port. I think we take it cleanly and then tempt them to come at us here. Although they could land, just go for this as well, which could be tricky. It's also tricky to get them into the right place, because if we start going over here, we could get picked off. So I think we just stay. We just stay and guard this. Maybe not as part of the garrison. Oh, Dashu got pulled from that group. Good. Alright, we're definitely taking this. This is like level what? Let's see how big the garrison is. At least level 3. Maybe 4. So at least 10 points of prestige. Let's go. Alrighty, I don't mind the rain. Although burning the whole town would be nice. Um, hmm. It's debatable how we should approach this fight. Do we think they will charge out at us? Probably not. I guess fighting from here is fine. That's not going to really interfere with us when we want to charge in. And if they do come out, we can thin them off here. Basically got a pretty narrow choke point. They're probably going to deploy people over here too though. Maybe this is better. It's more compact here. We can make more of an impact by firing inside. Alright, we can put our guys confidently here. Slight guerrilla deployment, I guess. They can hold this angle for us. We can charge and also fire as they come closer. We have lots of cavalry, so it shouldn't be too bad. We have good generals as well. And uh, somewhat of a front line. Switch to regular shots. You just go for densely clustered areas and let the balls roll. Mm, it's really not a good. Let me aim for here. How many shots do we have? 19? Okay. I gotta get a couple shots to destroy the buildings, of course, but let's get a couple shot into the crowd. Alright, like that's gonna help. 
All right, let's take these out first before we run out of shots. I don't know how accurate we are. We're level one, so could be bad. And the misses can crush some people too. 75%. Okay, probably wasting a shot here, but it's okay. Let's guarantee it. Never know with level one machinery here. Yep. Definitely need those 20 shots. Complete whiffs on two shots. Uh, small impact on the third one. Hopefully the fourth one will do it. Nope, not there yet. I need one more shot. Nope, apparently two more. Three more. Good thing we shot this first. Four more. Wow. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm going to manually fire this. Oh, still wild miss. Come on, what are you, magnet here? Repelling all our shots. Oh, five shots left. This is a bit disappointing. Are you kidding me? Are we not going to bring this down? We shot like over 10 shots at this thing. There we go. We're left with two shots. It's okay. We'll use those. Hmm, maybe aim a little short. They fly around too much. One of them ranked up. Yeah, not great. Anyone wants to duel? Oh, wow. Someone actually want to duel us. Um... Yuan Yang? Okay, you guys have a Othor relationship? And who's gonna be the better duelist? It's probably Zhang Fei with a melee evasion debuff on his ability, so we're gonna go take care of that. Stability. We got the hit. Or did we get the hit? I don't see her melee evasion tanking. Maybe we would. Uh, but regardless, she has really low base stats. She's gonna get killed pretty easily. He's gonna go mad. And when he go mad, I can't really charge any cavalry at him to take him out though, because that'll get shot with a bunch of archers. Oh, that might be worth it. Get ready, get ready. Move up, move up. Alright, she's dead. Be angry, be angry. Charge out. He's... Very weird that he went that way. Alright, we have longer range than them. Maybe we can cover fire a little bit. And he's going back. It's not worth it. With him back. Mm, we don't have that much of a range advantage. Just a little one. I can give them a boost. Yeah, 60 second boost. Go, go, go. They're just gonna lay down a lot of smoke, aren't they? Mm, maybe we'll wait. Wait for the smoke to clear. Because we don't want to walk into anyone's ring. Oh my god, that smoke is just not clearing. Alright, 
our second solution. Let's call these three. I know this wooden stake here, but someone's got to break them. It's better them than our cavalry. Okay, so he has to smash. Alright, switch target selection. Go for some of the spear units. We'll take care of everyone else. Yes, throw your traps on the ground all over the place, please. Where's that spear unit? Cover fire. Far over here. There we go. Ah, sure. Smash our generals. No big deal. Alright, good. Hold on, hold on. Stop firing at that one. Spear guards don't really care. These guys don't really care. Fire at them. We'll still clear this. We'll ignore time off for now. Mm. Not the greatest situation for them. They kind of took care of the range issue, so we're just going to pull them out now. Alright, let's see if we can kill him. Especially if Zheng Jiang gets off her horse, I think she can kill him. Right now they're just trading health. What weapon does he have? A uh, bronze one? Okay. It's the cavalry doing a lot of damage to us as well, but I think we can... Let's get him. Okay, Jung Jiang uh, had to trade her life, but... Probably alright in the grand scheme of things. She might get shot up by the towers too. Move up. Alright, let's try to steal that tower from them. Fire will. Move around a little bit to dodge some of the arrow shots. And we charge them. Keep them away from the capture point. I might get off my horse. I, I do much more damage if I'm stuck fighting a group. Although charging would be nice, but I don't know how. Hmm. 
many things to take care of. Why are you guys not firing? Hello? Use your bow. Yeah, what's up with fire well and not firing? Alright, the spear unit's gone. Cavalry's turn to go in. Three, fire at them. Five, fire at... Oh, they're not gone. Four, halt. Oh, they are running away though. There's still some wooden stake left, but we gotta charge. They gotta get in there. Five. There's one spear unit here, but you can't see them. That's the problem. Alright, just cover fire for us. Use the morale hits of being under fire to do the damage. Over here, they retaken it because we've overchased. Let's go get them. Maybe hurt their morale a bit more. Push through, push through. Fire at the ones in the back, I guess. Fire, 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 fire. Ah, now we find them. Fire here, fire here. We're at an angle so we don't really charge directly at them. Alright, they have routed. They have routed. Pull out your sword. Charge in too. Come on in. Wipe them out. Push, push, push. Speed up their routing too. Charge here. Don't forget to take care of these guys. That should do it. That should be everyone. Yes. It's over. Whew. Wasn't clean, but it was alright. The rain definitely made things a little bit more difficult than it should be, but we didn't lose that many men. Should be able to bounce back. Ooh, we did lost so much favor. Let's get to King quickly. Uh, we'll pay for the doctors, even though we don't have that much money. We're at 16. 16. That's probably the lowest I've ever been. Ooh, I guess we want to go top and then rush for a blazing roar. Level 4, 10 points of prestige, not bad. Yeah, we'll just ambush here to debuff anyone who comes into the main territory. Alright, we need to push. We're getting close. Must not give them a break. Um, They didn't siege, which is fine. See all these armies there? I doubt they'll come to the iron mine. We're gonna go here. So you're gonna race for this. Looks like we can reach their next turn. I trust that movement. Over here, they're still sieging. There's a big stack here. There's a small stack here. I could take the small stack to draw out the big stack and eliminate them all together in a nice open field battle. Rather than take the Lumberyard. Uh, it's level 3, which is also 10 points, which is nice. Um, I also want the Weaponsmith. Oh, Guiding is going to land here. Okay, I mean, we have a defense set up here, so if they want to land anywhere, that's the place. This is our other concern, whether we can hold this or not. So ideally, we would just need a general to... Give them a, you know, circular look at the commandery. Who can do it? So that's our bright officer. That's another... No, that's our daughter. Right, we keep forgetting this is our daughter. She doesn't have unbreakable, so she wouldn't be able to do a good job here. Our heir is currently on Simon still, and we're waiting for him to hit level 4, 5? Four, 4, I guess? Flexibility is the most important one. He's going to get there soon on assignment. Doesn't have stubborn either. 
Right, so no one technically is unbreakable. But we could maybe just send out a general, and you can still do the same thing. It's just a little bit riskier if we don't have unbreakable, but I think given their army composition, I think our son can handle it. And we can always find him hmm, son and daughter. It's a bit of an all-in with a family affair, isn't it? If it goes bad, we lose both. Yeah, but we're going to make sure it doesn't go bad, so let's have some confidence here. Let the family handle it. We did take away his weapon when we... Alright, both of you can take an axe. Of course, I think we go simple. We want speed. So we don't actually want fancy horses, even though he's the administrator, so I guess he could use some fancy horses. He's also the administrator here, so we pulled him out. It's a good chance to give him a full retinue before we pull him back in, but we probably want to do that in Mingling where we have the Vanguard Administrator. Or Inspector. Alright, still the debate here. Do we want this first and then go to them, or do we want to take this chance to wipe them out first? Maybe we do want to wipe them out. Right, we pull both army out, including this huge retinue of a lot of melee calves. Do I want to do this? This feels like a bad idea. It's a tough fight, but if we win this, it's very rewarding. Also very punishing in terms of Imperial favor, but we're going to ignore that part. Let's do this. Oh, it just had to rain, huh? Um, terrain's not great either. Yeah, terrain's really bad actually. Like we're on offense, so we have to push into them. Realizing that, they will definitely have the high ground. Like I don't want to deploy my siege weapons into the forest here. No, I don't think I want that. Alright, if we take up this little area here and let them come downhill on us, at least everything's in the open and we can shoot at them along the way. That would be one option. not that bad. Cover pretty much everything. And make this a little bit thicker and shorter. Make sure we do cover everything. We have one backup cavalry for emergencies. Uh, we're gonna have to utilize this group as a harassment force. They don't need to hide necessarily, but we just need to put them to the side. We're not the healthiest, but uh, if we can get a couple duels and heal up from them, that would be good. We do get a tower, which is nice. And I'm assuming their cavalry is going to want to open up a big flanking angle, so maybe, maybe here? Put them here. No fire. It's not going to be super effective in this weather anyways. Right, now the challenge is how to lure them to attack us instead of letting them stand where their tower is because that's what they're going to do. They're not going to move. They have this tower right here. So we're going to have to encourage them to move towards us. And they will only do that when they get hit by the trebuchet. I'm gonna turn that off for now. Save some ammo. Oh, they're coming. Okay. Never mind. I thought they weren't gonna come. Maybe they're super confident because, you know, they have twice our manpower. Maybe more than twice. 
Okay, if they're coming, that's a different story. I would like to take a duel. I mean, I'll take one too. Double check if they're actually charging us. I don't think they are. I think they were just scouting. Oh no, they're charging us. Wow. Um, I'm impressed. Alright, no one wants to duel me. No one wants to duel me as well. Alright, they send a detachment of melee cab, which is what I was worried about. Can't really deal with them. I have to let our spear units really deal with them. Our job is to mainly harass, maybe, say, the infantry a little bit as they approach us. But I can't really micro all these things at one time, because I really do want to get a couple of good hits here as well. I mean, if they only sent, uh, if they only sent one, we can deal with that. Ooh, so many units. If I can get my cavalry into a flank on these and just pound them with a charge. They don't have a lot of spear. Open up because you're going to shoot at them. Shock Havry, right? Pick on those guys a little bit. I'm going to have to let you take care of yourself. Got a micro the cavalry. They're probably going to be more rewarding for us. Alright, steady boys. A lot of enemies, but we can beat them. Do a little drive by here. Get behind them. Now they're in the valley. Now they gotta go up uphill to fight us. Charge. Fire arrows kind of suck, but we'll take it. Charge them. There's some infantry here. We're gonna bump into some stuff, but we do their smoke. Charge to their back line. Charge at the farthest one. Pull. Pull this way. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Pull. Keep pulling. Uh, a few of them are engaged, just oh, they're, they're engaged in melee, that's why they're not getting out. Alright, we're buying time for our front line to fight them in waves. Let's see if we can get a charge on some of their range units. Alright, reserve cavalry come out. Charge out. He can smash, he can roar. Get back in melee. Right, we need to pull our cavalry out here. Right, 
Use the charge, maybe to get into here. Pull them out. Black Bulls is like, keep doing your thing. Double them. Get them out, but it's gonna be very difficult. Alright, thin them off, thin them off. Smash. Yeah, the cavalry got tangled up a little bit too much here. But they did buy us a lot of time, which is good. Out. You're now the front line. Alright, you guys go take care of the range units. Mm, too many infantry. Keep pulling. Alright, harass their back line, charge over here. Roll on them, smash on them, take care of that. Kill the general. Or actually, kill the cavalry. Alright, pull back to the line. Alright, good. They stopped those guys. Oh, we lost one of the spear guards. Yeah, the, the archers are gonna just try to buy us some time. That's a nice captain unit being held on there. Horses for us. Kill that sword. We're gonna go down there and kill that. Actually, we want to just hit Densu net, don't we? Doesn't matter. War. Smash. Cut open the path for our guys. Charge down. Go get them. Push them back, push them back. Tower still firing for free. You guys get them. Alright, I'll come out and help here. Alright, let's pull him out. Stay on him. She's unbreakable. It's okay, he's also unbreakable, so he can hold this for a while. We're out of all our cavalry. Just have to use our general now, but it's general versus general right now. Get her. Oh, she's dead. Go, 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 smash. Roar! Oh, I didn't get to roar. Charged out of melee. Smash! Oh, 
All right, last group. Oh, we held. Or we, we won the war, the fight. We, we were fighting, we were attacking. I guess we weren't holding, but... Definitely a rough fight. Yeah, this army needs to upgrade. We can just switch all the White Horse Fellows to... Uh, um, Raiders to Fellows. We can just upgrade these units as well. This is not cutting it. Um, maybe get rid of the Spear Guards entirely because he can turtle and then just switch over to Azor Dragon. We just need better quality stuff. So this is most likely... I'm guessing it's Sun, Sun Quan's brother. I'm taking the weapon. I'm executing everyone. Yeah. We'll take replenishment. And we need to take this this turn as well so that we can heal. I am thinking about just delegating and then redoing the units so that we can disband. Although we can fight this pretty cleanly with the siege weapon. Yeah, let's let's fight it. Alrighty, so I think we can do this pretty cleanly here. Especially since weather is good, seed weapons, you know, going to be more useful in this battle. And we can just hold a passive line uh, with it much easier. Wow, our line is depleted. They have most of their unit, but it's all like super injured. Oh, gotta mind the timing of three times speed. They move a lot faster. Estimation of where to aim at. And because we execute all the generals, they don't have any like stat boost whatsoever. I'm gonna just have them kite through here real quick. I think there's like a small reinforcement group coming in. Not sure. Maybe they ran away. Don't see them. Don't know them. Alright. You're gonna have to take the melee guys. We'll go help you. Ah, there is a small reinforcement group. Don't you think you can slip by? Our defense. Oh, oh, oh. Fight, fight, fight. Good, good, good. All the cavalry didn't make it. Now we can go after their infantry. No, four units shall not disrupt our... Alright, you're on your own. We gotta kite these guys out again. Once again, they get caught. It's over. This is a mess. Maybe we can just help them by shooting danger close here. The shot that AI wouldn't take, but I would. They're getting disbanded after this battle anyways, so let them be bait. Fire, fire, fire. Stand your ground. Helping, I promise. Alright, we're gonna get that guy. Honestly, I think I hit more, like mostly the enemies in this case. 
Because since you already broke out, go kill some rangers. Alright. Pound them, pound them. Where did Gongsun Zan go? There we go. Uh, help me kill this guy. Fight. Alright. Uh, maybe here? Okay. Still over though. Alright, we're gonna be named the enemy of the Han soon at this rate. We're gonna go zero points. Five. Okay, only minus five. Not too bad. We're at one point. <laughs> okay. So this needs a revamp. He's past level 6 now, so he can actually get the fellows, which is much better in terms of range, ammo, morale, charge, all the good stuff. Get rid of these two as well. We're going to go Azor Dragon. Uh, they're just better melee fighters. These guys are really not good, especially since we don't even have fire arrows on them. So we're going to consider what to go there. It's going to give us a little bit of money buffer for this turn uh, before we have to think about who we want to recruit. Um, we might consider even giving them opportunity to go to our designated recruitment site or can shift the administrator over uh, to Poyan, which doesn't have one right now. So it will involve a little bit of administrator shuffling. That way we can enjoy the discount to recruit our next army. Uh, that would be very helpful. Obviously we wouldn't have the Emperor's Blessing, so 20% there is just gone. We can't have that. But that's where things stand. Still a staring contest over here. They're still here helping us boost our public order, so we appreciate that. Uh, State Workshop is needed here for corruption reduction. A um, couple thousand. He's not back yet. Are we getting sieged? No, we're just we're just suffering. Um, we're about to hit the next tier up. That's another five points of prestige right there next turn. Changsha is full build. Water stuck there. This is good. Am I getting prestige from this? Yes, 15. Good. Okay, waiting for the corruption reduction. Five turns here. I'm going to get four more points. That's nine points by next turn. I get five more points if I upgrade one of these, but I do want corruption reduction, so I'm going to go there first. Hmm. We're good. How close? <sighs> Not that close. Not that close. Maybe next turn. We can still take the Lumberyard with the army that we have here. Like just this group. We can definitely do that. We can also give him a heal, but I think he's okay just at his current health level. I don't want to really recall him at this point. I can fend them off. No big deal. Am I worried here? Not really. Pretty decent quality here. Okay, there might be a fight here. I think we're good. I think we can just go to next turn. I haven't checked Diplomacy in a while. Ah, guess we have Vision of Ma Tung. You probably joined an alliance. 
Okay, now it's Alliance War. Not just him. All right, let's enter. Let's see what happens here now. All right, Gunning's group is giving us a try. See you guys then. Alrighty. Let's see if we capture Gunning. That's what we really care about. There we go. That's all we really care about here. Come join us. Why, a farmer? Hmm. Not bad. Sure, we'll take him too. I'll cripple this army too. And of course, the Saho army is here for round two. We have to entertain them again. Alrighty, hopefully that's the last one. I think Giant backed off, so maybe we won't be getting any action from him. And still the same guy, the one that we don't want. Goodbye. Alright, Sun Quan still has army over here. Um. This will be quick, actually. Alrighty, that was pretty straightforward and fast. They drop like flies, and uh, maybe we'll capture a few of them again. Oh, drop the armor. Kondi once again, giving us 500. Zhang gotta be kidding me. He pulled back only to come back again? What is wrong with them? Anyways, see you guys then. Alrighty, that should wrap up the defense round here. And we caught two more. I don't think she's actually a bandit. Yeah. So release both. Oh, who else want a piece? Oh, sure, see it. We almost forgot about him. So this is actually quite an interesting fight, or actually a slightly more interesting fight. Because we don't actually have unbreakable generals, so we can actually mess this up. And they have quite a bit of men, so the best thing we can get out of here is just a simple draw as well. So a lot of different things going on. Uh, it's also our son and daughter, so I guess we could show this one. Let's do it. Alrighty, so this is Assault Mine, and uh, we do have towers. That's our advantage. We also have a lot of units, but those are be less useful. We are running out of here as fast as we can. Do they have cavalry? I don't think they do. Oh, they have one. We'll leave them a little present at the door. Ah, oh, they even spread out. How evil. Alright, everyone crowd. Let's go. Alright, no dueling, no dueling. Every bully out, everyone into the forest. We'll go kite. You guys go hide. Hopefully that didn't enough to cover everyone. Alright, these towers are not the greatest because of how high the hill is up there. So it's not going to do a lot of damage. But hopefully... Hopefully that cavalry comes in right at the wooden stakes. I already took a couple. Wait, are they all strategists? Oh, there's one person who's not a strategist. Don't want to fight her, Nasty of Steel. She also doesn't want to fight us, which is good. Everyone is hidden. Good. So those units are safe. We just got a kite. We're very slow. Um, shouldn't have given- I should have took the horse away, but because he's an administrator, we didn't do it. Probably a mistake. Oh, they have fire arrows. Oh, that changes things. Um, hmm. The best option we can get is a draw. And the easy, easiest way for us to generate that draw is to disappear. They're safe. As long as they're safe, we wouldn't get army loss and we wouldn't have the, you know, sudden drop of 
morale causing us to leave. Let's see, I gotta find a place where we can actually hide. Yeah, we got some damage on the units, good for us. Ideally, they go inside, they stay inside. Okay, here's some trees. So not only do we need to hide, we need to get out of vision and then stay out of vision and transfer to another spot on the map. Then the AI become really confused. They'll go to where they saw us last and they'll start scouting. And then we can probably just cut out the rest as we're just gonna hide at that point. Okay, so we're behind this structure. So they can't see us. Oh, how did you get spotted? If we're behind this hill, they can't see us. So they lost vision here. That's the spot they saw us last. And if we stay under this ridge, we can maybe maneuver ourselves to a different patch of trees. We just gotta keep an eye out here to see that we're always hidden. And then as long as we're on a lower elevation, this this might be risky, but we gotta go for it. We gotta cross this area somehow. See if we can stay invisible. Yes, yeah, so far so good. If we can get into that patch of trees and stay invisible, we're solid. So, in the AI's mind, we were there. Oh, they s mm, Last leg. We almost had it. Alright, so new plan. We go deep into the forest, then we go vertical. So the last place to saw us is here. Oh, now it's here. These trees aren't dense enough. Leading them to there would be a mistake, but if we could just go there and not... Come on. Come on, seriously? Is this a forest or is this just like... Okay, okay. That's good. So far so good. If we can keep this up, this will be kind of the last spot we were shown. Ah, uh, no. We can try that hill on the other side again. That hill is pretty good in my opinion. Like we just need to break vision and stay out of vision. Ah. Uh. I mean, or we can just keep running. It's not like they can catch us. Anyways, I think I'm cutting out the rest. Uh, there's not going to be any action going on, so see you guys at the end. Alrighty, so this might be a tough situation for us, because if they keep sieging us, we'll eventually lose. Hmm. Alrighty, so... It doesn't really matter for us. This... So if we have at least 40 in pure favor and within 10 turns we get plus 10, that's very lovely. Because we're at, we were at 1, we got 7 points per turn. Hmm, that's quite the offer. We got Gunning as well and we got Dashu. So we picked up quite a few characters and there might be some other maneuvers we can make here. But overall, we need to send the rescue party to save them. I guess after we take this, we run down and rescue them. Yeah, that four, ooh, four turns. Let me grab this right away. There goes our Emperor's offer. <laughs> Going down to zero after this for sure. Uh, I'll, I'll take it, it's okay. We'll heal up on the way there. We're back at one point. Zhao Yun saves some more kids, even though he's not even in this battle. Uh, so we will get there in... Two? Oh, okay. So so we'll, we'll make it in time. Not bad. So we'll, we should be there to rescue them soon enough. And even though we took a lot of casualties, most units will heal up in time. And that's where things stand. I think that's where we're going to end things. They held against a bunch of armies, bought us time, got us another general. Suryan's our next target, probably. Uh, but we're not going to send this army at them. This army is going to go for easy targets. It seems like the Yellow Turbans failed. This army is going to go for them. All right? we'll draw them in as reinforcement. They can't say no. We get a chance to capture them with level 7 uh, Huang Gai over here. 
Um, I might even take this walk because I know on saves, uh, what happens is it often will reduce your distance. So we'll actually use this siege screen, which is a save point, uh, to drag them in for the battle at the start of the next episode. Get ourselves another chance to get Surin and Zhou Tai. And we should be getting to King. Next episode, we'll definitely get to King. Because there's one, two settlements that we'll be taking right off the bat. And um, a few that will get upgraded as well. And so probably within two turns, we should be able to hit King. And then the Emperor can just, you know, disappear from our equation. Uh, this army, I don't know what to do about this army. They have an army that popped up over here. I think we might just turn around. Because it's not like we need to go take anything else. We have everything else. Alright, so now taking Badong, maybe landing over here to wipe out um, Sun Quan's holding on the north bank, take out Tai Mok. So we eliminate factions and wipe out Huang Zhou to reduce the number of wards we're in. And then we link up the rest of uh, Lu Jiang and then push through maybe Liu Bei's territory. That's probably down the line. But overall, that's the plan. Uh, things are going well. Our son and daughter is in trouble, but hopefully help is on the way. And uh, Sun Quan is the one who's actually in trouble as we're about to wipe him out. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one and see you all next time. Bye!